This is the first part of our windmill series. This is a low windmill. A low windmill is a hip hinge with a spiral like that ball and sock we talked about in the other videos with a light weight. The low end mill is the easiest and this is what I like using for hip pathology such as hip flexor syndrome, hamstring conditions, as well as knee conditions. Enjoy. Now in the low wind mills, we're gonna start in the same position. The penguin, step wide. Now step a little bit to the side. She's gonna slide her forearm down through the thighs, hips high ideally, fingers straight through the ceiling, and then she's screwing herself out of the ground. The ending position when you stand is the same position as the top of the last exercise, the kettlebell deadlift. Think of this as a single armed kettlebell deadlift with a slight variation of the hips. What is the point of this exercise, you might wonder? Why is it, why are we doing this? Well, because the hips are a ball and socket. We need them to rotate like ball and sockets. They don't only move forward and backwards. Forward-backwards movements, such as squatting, deadlifting, a kettlebell deadlift, are again forward-backwards. So we need to train them to work in the frontal plane, the side-to-side -side plane, and the rotational plane. Now I'll show you from the front side here so you can see again technique and setup. Sliding down, she's keeping the hips low, they should be a little higher. Fingers straight through the ceiling and then unscrewing yourself from the ground. Notice that her chest is gonna come towards me every time. She showed a faulty one there where her hand is not, there you go. She gotta be all the way to the ceiling, thanks. Now in this angle we're gonna see that the knee on the side opposite of the weight is gonna be a little bit more straight. And the reason for this is because we need the hips to load asymmetrically in this. Again, it's a hip motion, the torso is along for the ride. If you have back pain, it's because you're rotating the spine.